So for today, we're going to be looking at the Tekken Regalia set pieces for the Hunter. Before I get this, I know people are going to comment this. I know the Tekken's Regalia set and the Unyielding Favor are actually supposed to be set like different, as in the Unyielding Favor is supposed to be this set, the Seasonal Ornament, and the Tekken's Regalia is supposed to be the Seasonal Armor from the Activity. I know this. You don't have to tell me. I know, I promise you, it's just in-game, that's how it's said right now. Once we get the switch, or if Bungie even switches it, because at this point, I don't know, then at that point, I'll switch out all of my thumbnails. But for the time being, that's why I have them named this way, so that way people can be can, can see it in-game and be like, oh, this is the Tekken's Regalia, instead of the few who know that it was a bug. So before you comment, I know, just I just know, okay? <laughs> but... We're going to be looking at the sets for the Hunters, Titans, and Warlocks. You guys will have your own videos shortly. I am currently working on them right now, as in I just need to do the audio because I have so many videos. Actually, I'll show you right now. This is all of the videos that I have currently that I'm working on right now. I have the Season Pass armor, which is what we're doing now, Titans, Warlocks, and then the Raid armor for Titan Hunter, Titan, and Warlock, and then the Raid armor, which is this right here, which I've already done it and then the casual sets as well. So I have a lot of content. That's not even getting into these right here, which is the playlist shaders, the uh, black shader, and then the season pass shaders, which I will be doing as well. So I have a lot of content for you guys. Uh, I would appreciate like, comment, subscribe, because this takes a lot of work, a lot of brain power, because it is uh, like just mentally draining to do a lot of uh, armor sets in just a short amount of time. So I would really appreciate that. But other than that, let's look at this armor. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet. I personally think this is the weakest piece from the whole set. Granted, it does look really, really cool, but I do think the other sets look way better than this. But for the helmet, Tekken's Regali, obviously. For the arms, we're going to be using the Atheris Embrace. I like this or this exotic specifically without the ornament. I think the ornament does look cool with it, but I do think the base look also looks really cool. For the chest piece, Imperium Cartographer. Uh, is what we're using in combination with the Neoteric Kiat cloak because I do like how the Neoteric Kiat, uh, the scarf, looks when you have it on the Imperial Tar Cartographer because the two lapels on the left side kind of looks like it's just right there and I like that it looks cool that way. And then for the boots, we're using Dendrite Shimmer Strides. So this is just kind of like a run-of-the-mill like type look that I've made with the shader being the combination of Imperial Dress for literally almost everything and then Imperial Ompulence for the purple shader because uh, Imperial Dress would actually make it yellow and Imperial Opulence has the opposite effect. So that's why I'm using the sets, the pieces that I'm using. So this one, I have, I don't have too much to talk about just because this is, this one was one of those like I want to add to the helmet because I do think it looks cool, but this is not the best set to like showcase it because I do think the other armor pieces that I wanted to showcase it I have for the other uh sets so so for the arms this is where i went with i went with my girl falcon look i really like this set uh, specifically with the nemean strides with girl falcon i think those two look really cool together the mystios cloak also looks really cool with this chest piece with the way lauren's iron mask i feel like that that just looks a lot better especially with the Tekken's regalia uh arms i think overall i do really like this set it looks really really cool and i really do like the fact that the Tekken's uh, regalia grips and the nemean strides both have just cloth on the left side and the other side's a little bit heavier to be fair though and i even set this in the Tekken's regalia armor video or review which if i haven't showcased i will have it up right now my biggest gripe about the arms is just the fact that the shoulder pad just looks really bad like it just kind of looks like it's floating instead of actually being on the arm but that's just me personally like it's just such a like nitpick for me and then for the shader omnicronia is just one of my favorite shaders in the game right now and funnily enough you can't even get it in game you have to buy it but i mean whatever who's who's counting whatever it don't matter but yeah let me know what you guys think about this one i definitely like this one um i would probably just switch switch out the tekken's regalia if i really wanted to make this set just because it's the shoulder pad i just think the shoulder pad looks bad personally like if it was actually on the shoulder and not like at the bottom of the shoulder then i think i would have liked it a lot more as for the chest piece, I actually really, really like how this one came out. For the helmet, we're using Sun Apex Mask in combination with Caliban's hand. I think I do think Caliban's hand looks really, really good with this, especially since the Sun Apex's mask, uh, specifically the glow on the eyes, don't change color. It's always that orange. 
and Erebos Glance, the new black shader that we got this season, has a really good orange shader, which I will be definitely combining this with my solar builds because, again, that is like a premium solar glow that you definitely want to have. For the chest piece, obviously, Tekken's Regalia in combination with the Virtuous Strides because, obviously, the chest piece has those orange uh, stripes on the chest piece. Now, I wanted to have something orange in there as well, so that way it doesn't just look like weird without anything else that's orange. And I also still wanted to retain the glow, so that's why we're using the Virtuous Strides with it. And then for the cloak, uh, Solstice Cloak is just like a banger of a cloak. That's why I'm using it. But this one is cool. I probably would just switch out Virtuous Strides for something else just because I think I do think there's too much orange in there. I think if it was just like sprinkled in there, I think it would have been fine. But I would probably switch out this one with probably, if I'm going to be quite honest with you, either either the Nemean Strides or some other Nightish looking boots just because uh, as much as I love the Virtuous Strides, I don't I think there's too much orange on the uh, front of the crotch. I just think there's too much orange, but Overall, I do think this is a banger of a look. Let me know what you guys think about this one. The next look, we're going to be utilizing Assassin's Cal with the Gilded Memento ornament. This one's pretty fun because I actually kind of like MacGyvered this one. Like I was just kind of going with the flow because I wanted to use the Tekian's Regalia strides, obviously, but I wanted to use the Nemean Cures with it because I do think the like one of the things that I like to do with with armor sets is make it look like it's all one armor set. And I think the Nemean Cures with the Tekken's Regalia Strides look really good together because the stomach of the uh, Nemean Cures has black and then it kind of continues to be black for the Tekken's Regalia Strides. So I think the fact that there's no separation there and it literally just looks like they're wearing like almost like a onesie kind of, but it just looks really, really cool together. That's why I really like these two. And then for Vernal Growth Cloak, I specifically because it has gold, there's and that and because uh with the Queen's Guard Valor Shader, it gives it the red on the actual cloak itself. I really wanted that as well. And then for the arms, TM Erp uh, Custom Grip was not my first choice, but it became my actual choice when I kind of noticed that the, uh, the right side has that pauldron. And this is what I mean when I actually say that it looks like it's actually attached to your shoulder because this is actually like on your shoulder. It's not like just floating. This is actually attached to the shoulder. It looks like it's actually there. So it was kind of an easy choice because once I saw that, I was like, well, it's going to be it's going to equalize the heaviness because like left side has that hip, um, not hip, the uh, the thigh piece, the metal plate for the boots and the arms have the, have it on the right side. So it's going to equalize that weight a lot. That's why I used it. But overall, I do like this one set. To be fair, though, I do think my best set is the cloak with the Tekken's Regalia cloak, which I think this set looks amazing. Uh, so many pieces just fit together. This, this is a variation of the Liar's Handshake set that I made. I don't remember what video I made it in. If I have it, uh, if I did, I'll have it up right now. But if I, if I don't remember making that video because this was just kind of like a set that I made for lightfall which i don't think i've ever made that video so yeah this is just a variation of that actually i remember what video it is i actually yeah i'll have it up right now if not it's fine but for the helmet nemean cask a lot of nemean pieces for this set to be fair though I, nemean sets were going to be really good with the Tekken and regalia stuff just because both of them are like very um very like royal looking and whatnot so it makes makes sense that i'm using pieces of it for the arms, we're going to be using the Charmed I'm Sure ornament for the Liar's Handshake. For the chest piece, Iron Companion Vest, easy choice. It was actually an Iron Companion Vest video, maybe? Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, Dendrite Shimmer, I love these boots. These boots are like one of my favorite boots in the game right now. And then Tekken's Regalia Cloak was just such a great choice for this. Granted, it is uneven, specifically like there's like big ass medallion on the right side of the cloak. But other than that, it does look really, really cool. And for the shader tortured ivy which is an old iron mm, how old would it, i don't actually remember but it's a it's an iron banner shader you could probably pick this up now and yeah i'm actually really excited and actually yeah i'm really happy about this armor set i think a lot of it is really really cool um i would probably switch out a shader for something a little bit less gold um just because the tortured ivy has like a really discolored green most of the time and I would probably just try to find a, another shader that does it a little bit better. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. I definitely like making this video just because 
a lot of the sets are really really cool like the last set is super dope i do think the uh boots also that set is really really cool as well because of the fact that there is no like color separation from the chest to the boots the the chest piece one is also cool because i did not know the Erebus glance had a really good solar glow which i'm going to be utilizing in future videos and definitely the girl falcon look is super dope as well I, I would probably just switch out the arms because again not the biggest fan of the arms and honestly the only one that i'm kind of like whatever's on is the helmet set i think that's it. it's just kind of like basic like i've seen this hunter before type feel but hunters let me know what you guys think titans warlock don't worry you guys have your own videos right now i'm currently working on it but i appreciate you guys other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later <laughs>